Welcome back to the Hank Strange Situation, Lifestyles of the Locked and Loaded. Make sure to check out HankStrange.com. You can sign up for our email list and find ways to follow and support our efforts. All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Hank Strange. I'm actually joined here by my friend Walter of Safety Harbor Firearms. And uh, today, Walter, we're talking about Bushmaster because Bushmaster is back. They're back. Yes, they have quite a few things they're putting out. I see that. Of course, they're putting out guns and stuff like that. But today, we're talking about suppressors, and they have the Muta. Muta, I was going to say. Muta. Muta, okay. It's a South American snake. Get it? Like, ah, like Bushmaster. A, like a Bushmaster, yeah. Yeah. So Muta suppressors. Okay. They actually have two of them. Okay. They have a 30 cal and they have a 5.56. Five, I've got the 5.56 five, in my hands. And you have a machine gun in your hands. That's 5.56. Five, five, yes, sir. And uh, so this is actually stainless steel. I'll put all the all the different uh, stats Details. on this in there. But it's stainless steel, welded. Actually, you can remove the cap, so if you get a baffle strike, you can you can uh, replace that. And it's actually serialized and everything here on the uh, end cap. Okay. To to also make it easy if you blow the whole thing up, you know. Or you grab a yeah yes go ahead. Right. Yeah. So this is basically it. Uh, you know, you there is there is the graphics out here, but there's no graphics on this for anyone who wants to know. It just says uh, what is that? BFI. Bushmaster Firearms Inc. Probably Inc. Yeah, international something like that. Yeah, we'll roll that in. So yeah, direct thread. What? So we're gonna see. It's supposed to be full auto rated. We got a full auto. Yes, we do. We got Walter's ammo. <laughs> yes, you I do. Mean, <laughs> better than you. you can't get better than that. <laughs> Most days, no. I brought a couple of rounds. I brought a couple there of rounds. There we go. That's I, pretty. I, I knew you'd have ammo. Yeah. So there you go. So we're gonna shoot this. Come on, Lola. Yeah, there's not even a follower. We're gonna do this. Oh. Okay. Okay. Yeah, Machine right. gun. You rolling? I'm rolling. Okay. Don't miss out on this. Ugh. All right. Oh, cool. First of all, we gotta go there. Check that out. Not there. Right there. <laughs> That's where we go. And I think Walter wants someone to mess up the uh, that TV down there. All right, you guys ready? Ready. Okay, so I don't really need like both of my air pros for this. I'm gonna keep one on. Okay. But you know, we want to hear how this. Oh, here. Thanks, Will. Okay. The TV you're Let's going see with? how this sounds. Ready? Where's that TV? Right there. Okay. Sweet. That wasn't bad. That wasn't bad. That's a machine gun. That's a machine gun. All right, let's load up that magazine. So this is, uh, what is this? The Muda. Uh, 556 dedicated direct thread. All right. I was trying on full auto. The uh, handguard's already hot. Oh, it's gonna be hot. Hold on. Come on. Oh. That casing. Yeah, we got two cases stuck, but we're good. Okay. Oh. How's it sound from back there? It's not shooting yet? I mean, yeah, it's quiet. I mean, it's 5.56, five, so if you're gonna hear that crack. Hold this, I need to grab something but to pull it's, that casing uh, out. It's not bad. Hold on. Uh, there's two stuck to. Oh, there you go, you go. There's a good one right there. Yeah. No, it's right here. It's clear. Ah, it's gone now. <laughs> there was there was a good case in there. It's uh, this handguard getting very hot. That works well. I, I can I can tell you that one works. So 
So Will is here, this dude is here from jolly old England. <laughs> and he's uh this button here. Yeah, top of that one. Uh -huh. Go for it. Uh-huh. All right. Likes to shoot it's us. Somebody up here. There All right. Go. Let's see what you got. There you go. That sounds good. Yeah. No, it does. Nice. Good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It's much better than going deaf. Yeah, that sounds good. That works yeah. real well. I, like I would still wear Air Pro if I'm going to do a lot of that. Yeah. Finger in the wrong place. Good? Yeah, good. Oh, hold on, Walt. Let's, let me get my phone. Hold on a sec. I'm going to come I'm gonna come, come around to that side. Okay. That's fine. Okay, I'm ready, Walt. Okay, hold on. Hold on. Everyone's ready. Okay. How close can I get? All right here. Go. Yes. <laughs> that was worth it, right? Oh my god. <laughs> That's cool. That is. Yeah. Okay. Let's do it. I think I can handle it. I've never had the muscle break off of this one, so. Okay. Oh. Oh, that was easy. That was exceptionally easy. Yeah. Yeah. Thankfully. Can? Uh, can. Mr. Can. 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 <laughs> Come on, hurry, be quick about it. Can. Oh my gosh, you gotta put the glove on it. Oh, it's hot? It's not that bad. Oh. It is a little hot. I'm gonna take Let this just see something. out, but. Oh, just you hold it. Oh, it's pretty warm. Yeah. It's pretty warm. At least let me get started. Sketchy, I mean, just with the the piece of wire and the little notch back here. So let's just explain to people what we did here. Uh, Walter happened to have his arm pistol, which is a Bushmaster. Bushmaster. Very nice. This is actually, if anything should happen to Walter, this will actually be passed on to Hank Strange, right? Is that sure. is that official? But sure. Yes. <laughs> anyway, very cool gun, bullpup, arm pistol. I don't know. Give people a little rundown on this thing. Uh, oh yeah, Gwyn firearm. So it says Gwyn on here too, actually. So, yeah. Uh, yeah, the guy Gwyn that uh, this I guess started Bushmaster, if I'm not mistaken. I'm not be wrong. But, yeah. He, well, he wasn't he helping them to develop a bunch of stuff over there. Yeah. 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 There's a different. There's different iterations of these of these arm pistols too. The way the actions work and the, yeah. the cocking and stuff. I think. It, I think it depending on what parts they had and what they what they made them, how they made them. Yeah, but, so if we just show everyone for a quick second the Bushmaster logo. So now this is the new logo right here. And the new logo has an AR in it, as you guys could see. But the old classic actually had an arm pistol. Yes, yes, yes it did. And so that's why I think it's cool. So for all the people that realize what this is and that the Bushmaster logo used to have an arm pistol down there. From what I hear, it'll never have that again. No, probably not. And I actually have an old Bushmaster rifle that has the arm pistol and the logo. Okay, yeah, cool. So, the idea also, behind I it was- I need one of these, Walt. The, the concept was like for pilots and helicopter pilots. Yeah. But, um, so you could be in the you could be in the cockpit and- Well, just when you crash or you land, you got something to defend yourself with. Yeah. Yeah, but it's, uh, it's kind of sketchy in my books. So <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it makes a lot of noise. It didn't so. actually work out, no. but- since we got a Bushmaster suppressor now, yeah, we direct threaded that on there because you got to do that for the video. I mean, come on. Yep, yep. So. All right. Well, we, this, is gonna, this is going to test how tough it is. Yeah. Let's see what happens here. I'm going to stand way over there. I happen to have some green tip here. So. Oh, okay. I'm standing way over here. Now. Yeah. Oh yeah. I get to be the crash test dummy. Okay. All right. So here it goes. I got 15 in. You did? Yep. One in the tube. Here it goes. 
Oops, had a had a hiccup. Something it don't like. Do those only like uh, GI bags? I've never. I don't know anything about. You never shot this thing? Nope. That one didn't load quite right. Got kind of yeah, gnarled up. Right there, pretty good. You guys talk about it a lot, but I've yep. never seen. Gnarled it up a little bit. I think Walter yep. and I did a right video. On Let's try. I got a couple more. Let's yeah. go ahead and finish it off. The Bushmaster rifle that I have has that gun in the logo. Yeah. Probably. Okay, I don't think I need that much ammo. Didn't like that one either. There we go. That's it. So. It is. Yeah, it's not very practical. The can is way over gassing it. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, it's way over gassed now. Trapping all that like loud. So. Yeah. Uh, does that only use GI mags? Oh, oh yeah, oh, yeah. I don't know. This might not been a, have put, been put designed that thing in there, Hoss, for see what a, a, uh, it's a, plastic mag. a suppressor. So let's oh, see God. here. This is the proper use of the arm pistol. Okay, let's see how this is here. Okay, let's see this. That one's stuck. Yeah. Got a double feed there, actually. I don't I know if you can see that. Mm -hmm. Let me... Uh, Got the mag. Is it going to fall out? Yeah, no, it's there we go. the gas. It's just... You get it? So, yeah, uh, you know, I'm going to count that as we officially shot it. Um, it you want to try it again? Is it stuck? Huh? Is it unstuck? Or yeah, it's, it's unstuck. Stuck. Okay, no, I'm good. I'm good. You're good? <laughs> All right, so there we go. We, you know, I mean, for nostalgia. I'm doing that for the people. So, uh, Walter and I are going to wrap this up right now. All right, so check it out, Walt. I actually have notes because I spoke to Sun, the CEO of Bushmaster. So we should get better sound reduction. With direct thread, he says direct thread gets you better sound reduction Probably so. than with the quick attach yep. tighter and all fit. that. Tighter fit. Yeah. So there's a 5.56, which we shot here, and there's a 30 cal, which we'll do in the future. And BFI is Bushmaster Firearms International. The 5.56 should get a negative 32 decibels. Okay, and the 30 cal should get a negative 34 decibels on a 16 inch barrel or 18 inch bolt action. Um, so the logo, I think it would be cool to get a logo on the can that's Bushmaster, but right now that's a little difficult. I think, you know, they're working with a small space, so they'll have to figure out exactly how to do that. But if you're, you know, if you're getting this just for the nostalgia, would you buy a suppressor for that? I want one for function. Right, so the 5.56 is 500 bucks, and the 30 cal 600 bucks. And price, price is important too. Yeah, but that's function, not bad though, yeah, yeah. that's not bad. Um, so the, it's got a K-baffle style, gives a little better performance mm. than uh, what people do. So that also allows you to go to put this on shorter, and it, it works fine on here. Yeah, that's short. Yeah, this gun, not necessarily <laughs> set up for suppressors because so Babyface was telling us that he, you know, he was seeing this bolt like go back yeah. real violently, yeah. and then we had some uh, shell casings got really. Yeah, we had some. Uh, yeah. Uh, function issues. Yes. Yeah. So it's got a removable end cap. So if you get a baffle strike on it right there, you can actually remove that end cap, and buy that from Bushmaster, and uh, it's machine gun rated. I asked him about colors because right now you can have any color you want as long as it's black. <laughs> So maybe in the future we'll see that. Maybe we'll see some other accessories and stuff like that. So did you have any questions about Bushmaster? No, no, not really. It worked. Yeah, it works. Yeah, it runs. It's, yeah. it's good stuff. Yeah. I think Bushmaster themselves have a bolt action coming soon. Oh, rifle. Okay. Yeah, bolt yep. action rifle. Um, they might have a suppressor, integral suppressor uppers and things like that coming out as well. Um, and they also have triggers out right now. Oh. You know, just as uh, well as they have 450 Bushmaster magazine and 350 Legend. So some some cool things we'll we'll see coming out from Bushmaster. What is it everyone's waiting for from the from these guys? The uh, what is that? 
Huh? ACR. The ACR. Uh, yeah, yeah. We don't yeah. we don't know anything about that yet. Um, I've been waiting on the ACR since Magpul had the ACR. Right. Oh, okay. I think I think we may see it, but we're not going to see it immediately. Yeah. So um, it takes some time. I think a lot of the companies that have, you know, that were part of the Freedom Group and then got broken up. I've spoken to a couple of those different people that are there developing things and it's some of the really cool stuff that we hope to see is going to take a little bit longer to develop so you just have to be patient on that yep, yep. absolutely yep. so make sure you check out safety harbor firearms right and yes, then stemparts.com yeah all that good stuff yeah 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 dirt foot racing all of that uh babyface p is somewhere in this video we got, We're good. you got him shooting he's hanging out over there right now what do you think you got any I would, I'd own one. He'd own one. There you go. Yeah. Babyface P. That's cool. So, uh, very cool. We're going to keep testing these. We're going to do the 30 cal, do some other stuff with it. Uh, Walter, you didn't want this, right? You said that this I might have terrible. been quiet in this video, but I didn't say that. Yeah. <laughs> I'm pretty sure you don't like this thing. Uh, I've been quiet in this video, but I didn't say that. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We're going to get let everyone get back to shooting over here. Thanks so much, guys. Make sure you leave your comments, questions all of that. Hopefully we'll get Bushmaster to come in and answer some of those. We're out of here. See ya. Make sure to check out hamstrange.com. You can sign up for our email list and find ways to follow and support our efforts.